Hello everybody, how are you all? Today I am going to discuss about rotation. Rotation. The aim is how the day and night causes. The earth rotates around the sun on its own axis. Causes day and night. The part of the earth, the part of the earth faces to the sun is lighted where the other half is in darkness. So the lighted part of the earth causes the day and the other dark part of the earth causes the night. The earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. Now we are going to share the video of rotation by the real sound of the space by NASA. Now in this picture we can see the half of the earth is with the it covered with sunlight and the half is in dark. So it means the half of the earth is day and the half is night. Now we are going to discuss about the revolution. Aim of the revolution is how the seasons causes. Seasons will cause because of the revolution. The revolution of the earth around the sun causes seasons. The earth is divided into two equal halves by the imaginary line around the earth called the equator. The two equal halves is known as the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. This is the picture which is showing the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. This line, it is in between of the Earth. It is called the equator. Then the upper part of the uh, equator is called the Northern Hemisphere and the lower part of the uh, equator is called the Southern Hemisphere. The earth moves around the sun on its orbit, where the sun rays fall more directly on the earth, depending on the position of the earth, either the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. The half of the earth receives more sunlight, causes the summer season, and the other half with the less causes the winter. This is the picture of the earth's revolution. 
Now let us take example of India and Australia. In India, India is in northern hemisphere and Australia is in southern hemisphere. So if the summer season is in India, then Australia will have the winter season. The urge takes around 365 and a quarter day to complete one revolution. Means it will take one year to complete one revolution. Now I am going to share one picture of the, one video of the revolution. The earth moves around the sun in a fixed epithelial path. The path is called its orbit. The earth moves in its orbit at a speed of 30 kilometers per second. All planets also move around the sun in fixed orbits. Each planet has a different orbit so that they don't bump into each other. The movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution. What is the difference between the earth's rotation and revolution? The spinning of the earth on its axis is called rotation while the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution. This is the picture of rotation and revolution. The earth takes 365 days, 6 hours and 8 minutes approximately 365 by uh, and quarter day to complete one revolution around the sun. That is why a year has 365 days is equal to one year. Though the earth takes 365 and a quarter day to complete one revolution around the sun, we take 365 days as one year. The remaining one fourth day are added to the year after every four years. The year will with 366 days is called a leap year. To which month in a leap year do we add the extra day? In a leap year, we add the extra day to February. The Earth's axis is always inclined in the same direction at an angle of 23.5 degrees to the vertical. This inclination of the Earth's axis together with the Earth's revolution around the sun causes seasons. Do you remember what is the Earth's axis? The imaginary line around which the Earth rotates is known as its axis. The equator divides the Earth into two halves known as hemispheres. In position A and the northern hemisphere is more tilted towards the sun than the southern hemisphere. Thus, in this position, the northern hemisphere is hotter and experiences summer. Meanwhile, the southern hemisphere experiences winter. In position B, the sun's rays fall directly on the southern hemisphere while they fall on the northern hemisphere in a slanting in a slanting manner. What season will the southern hemisphere have when the earth is in position B?
when the earth is in position b when the earth is in position b the southern hemisphere will be southern hemisphere will be hotter and it will be summer there meanwhile the northern hemisphere will experiences winter Equi means the equal and nox means night. Equinox is the time when all places on the earth have equal duration of the day and night. Each year on twenty first March, the spring in equinox, the sun shines directly on the equator. Again on twenty third September, the autumn equinox, the sun shines directly on the equator. Sol means the sun. solstice a uh, means solstice solstice means the standing still of the earth still of the sun solstice is either of the two times of the year at which the sun reaches its highest or lowest point in the sky at midday in the northern hemisphere june 21 is the longest day and december 21 is the shortest day thank you for watching please subscribe and share my video thanks once again please if you like the video please don't forget to click the like button hello everyone how are you today we are going to study about ernest rutherford rutherford's model of, and structure of an atom rutherford's model was discovered by ernest rutherford he was born on august 30 in new zealand he was called physics and physicist and chemist He was also called the father of nuclear physics. He discovered that atoms have their positive charge concentrated in very small nucleus. This is Ernest Rutherford. Rutherford's nuclear model of an atom. He did some experiments in the year nineteen nine called Rutherford. This is Rutherford's model. Rutherford Rutherford had discovered the atomic nucleus in his model he showed that the nucleus was tiny and very dense region in the center of the atom with a large positive charge he was closely estimated the actual size of the atomic nucleus which is about 10 minus 15 meters he described a planetary model of the atom in which the electrons orbited the 
central nucleus like planets or be the sun however the model is still not quite right it predicted that the electrons would fall into a nucleus and the atom would rapidly collapse in a burst of flight radford's atomic model atoms has the positively charged central part nucleus electrons are distributed around nucleus mass of atom is concentrated at nucleus compared with total volume of an atom the volume of the nucleus is meager radford scattering experiment theory alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons bound together electrons are positively charged with two units of charge let us see the experimental setup and understand radford's experiment there is source of the fast moving alpha particles which have a considerable amount of energy the stream of alpha particles is directed towards a very thin gold foil the gold foil was placed inside a detector in such a way that detector would show a flash of light when alpha particles strikes it the entire arrangement was kept in a vacuum chamber this is radford's observation now i am going to tell you about i am going to we are going to study about structure of an atom this is the structure of an atom neutrons protons electrons and neutron nucleus atoms consist of three bases protons electrons and neutrons the nucleus is the center part of the atom contains protons is positively charged and neutrons no charge the outermost region of the atom are called electron shells and contains the electrons negatively charged the atoms have different properties based on the arrangement and number of the their basic particles this is the table on proton protons charges plus 1 and mass is 1 no location is in proton is in nucleus and neutron charges no mass is 1 and location is in nucleus electrons charge is minus 1 mass is no mass its location is in orbitals thomson's model of the atom atoms are base basis of chemistry and the everything in the universe atoms are the general terms used to describe piece of matter that is matter is composed of atoms thomson's model nicknamed is plum pudding model if you like the video please don't forget to hit the like button and share subscribe and if any doubt please comment down and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you so much for watching hello everyone today we are going to discuss about conductions What are conductions? Conduction joins in many ways. Verb sentence clause, clauses and phrase. A conjunction is a word that is used to connect a word, phrase, and clauses. Some common conjunction are and, or, but, so, because, for. if and uh, and when so shall i tell you some examples of conjunctions he was clever but lazy he could not sleep because it was too hot i have a book and a pencil and a pencil it was rainy so the game was cancelled do you prefer coffee or tea 
Let me know if you go to school. Is the coffee too hot for you? I will call you when I reach home. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thanks one again. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about biography of John of Arc. A patron saint of France, it is understood that John of Arc was born in around 1412 to a peasant family in Domremy la Pucelli, France. She was soon she was the daughter of tenant farmer. This French national heroine. This French national heroine took the field of battle during the Hundred Years War, 1337 to 1453. At the time, the desperate French army had suffered a number of losses to the English, but John Bernard renewed confidence by lifting the siege of Orleans in nine days. And taking back the, the city of Rimin, she was soon captured by English. John of Arc, who had been caught by the British in the war, was introduced and presented before the court. court. John of Arc, dead May 30, 1431. This is John of Arc. Now we are going to study the church of John of Arc means in the church in which John of Arc got punished. How was the church? Let's study about it. A gray stones all in the castle arranged for trial at law. There are two red chairs side by side for the bishop and the inquisitor as judges. Looking down the uh, great hall from the middle of the inner end, the Jessical chairs and subscribes table are to the, the right. The prisoner stool is to the left. There are archer doors right and left. This is the archer doors. As you can see, it may be there in your homes too. The castle's door were like this. These are archer doors. Now let's go to the back page and study the note. What was the note? Note, at the age of 19, in 1431, she was tried for heresy and then burned at the stake as a witch. In 1909, she was beautified and canonized a saint. Now, let's study the question that may you get in exams. Write the character sketch of John of Arc in about 120 words. John of Arc was a young French peasant girl. She rose the status of a national heroine by virtue of her strong conviction and belief in God. She was polite but outspoken and did not hesitate to question authority, she was, she was prepared to face any con consequence to uphold truth, equality, and sincerity during the Hundred Years' War. The French army suffered a number of losses to the English. At the time, John claimed that voices of saints had told her that she was called by on God to help her country. 
she got renewed confidence by up uplifting the siege of Orleans in nine days and got the city of Reims back. She was then captured by the English and presented before the court. During the trial, she questioned the undue authority of the church why she was chained by her feet to a log or of wood. She asked the court if they were afraid that she would fly away. The boldly declared the court to be unreasonable. She was confident and proud of what she had done. She openly denied swearing the gospel on more time. Though she knew her life was in danger, she was remarkable bold and expressed her opinion without any fear. She confirmed to accept her decree with dignity. She was burned at stake as she was declared to be a witch. After 500 years, she was beautified and canonized as a saint. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thanks once again. So join my Discord server. You can join my Discord server. You will get the link below in the description box. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the parts of speech now. A noun is a word used to name a person, animal, place, and thing. Raju, Raju is a name. Book, book is a thing. Mary, Mary is a name. Paris, Paris is a place. Dog, dog is an animal. Lion, lion is an animal. Pencil. Pencil is a thing. India. India is a place. Canada. Canada is also a place. Rani. Rani is a name. Now, I am going to give you some examples of noun. Raju is a good boy. Raju is a name of a person or, or a boy. In my summer holidays, I went to Dubai. Dubai is a place. I have cats in my home. Cat. Cat is a name of an animal. This is mat on the floor. Mat is a thing. I am going to Canada. Canada is a place. I love dogs. Dogs is an animal. Mary loves flowers. Mary is a name. This is my favorite book. Book book is a thing. I am scared of lions. Lions is an animal. Sita is going to Sri Lanka. Sita is a name and Sri Lanka is a place. In this is this your eraser? Eraser is a thing. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get the notifications if I put my new video. Thank you so much for watching once again.
Hello, today we are going to study about solar system, the eight planet and the draft planet. Solar system. So what is solar system? Solar system was made 4.5 billion of years ago. Solar system includes all eight planets and a draft planet and many galaxies. The first planet in the solar system is from eight planets. The first planet in the solar system is Mercury. This is Mercury. It is the first planet and it is the terrestrial planet. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and closest to the sun. It is only slightly larger than Earth's moon. It is little bit larger than Earth's moon. Mercury is the fastest planet zipping around the sun every 88 Earth days. It has no moons. The distance from Mercury to sun is 32053 and 098 mi kilometer. Its orbit around the sun takes 87.97 Earth days. The second planet in the solar system is Venus. It is this is Venus. It is the second planet in the solar system. It is the hottest planet in the solar system, even though it is the second planet in the solar system. Venus is a terrestrial planet. It has the densest atmosphere of the four terrestrial planets consisting of more than 96% carbon dioxide. Venus has the hottest surface and planet any planet of any planet in the solar system with a mean temperature of 737K. Venus is shrouded by an opaque layer. The third planet in the solar system is Earth. This is Earth. It is third planet in the solar system. And it, it is third planet in the solar system from Sun. And the only astronomical object known to harbor life. About 29.2% of Earth's surface is land consisting of continents and Icelands. The remaining 70.8% is covered with water. It has one moon. So now we are going to study about earth layers. Can you tell me how many layers are there? There are three layers. The first layer, the middle part of the earth is the inner core. It is in the center and the hottest layer of the earth. The inner core is solid and made up of iron and nickel with temperature up to 5500 degrees Celsius. Then the other is the outer core. The outer core of the earth is similar to a very hot ball of metals. It is so hot that the metals inside are all in the liquid state. The outer core is located around 1,800 miles under the crust and approximately 1,400 miles thick. It is composed of metals such as iron and nickel. The outer core surrounds the inner core. Then the second layer is mantle. Mantle is the widest section of the earth. Its thickness is approximately 2,900 kilometers. Its thickness is 2,900 kilometers. The mantle is mainly made up of semi-molten rock known as magma. The rock is hard in the upper part and of the mantle, but lower down, the rock is softer and begins to melt. Then the last layer of earth is crust. It is the outer layer. The covering of the earth, like uh, the layer in which we live, 
thickness is around uh, 0 to 60 kilometer it's a solid rock layer divided into two types continental crust covers the land and oceanic crust covers water the crust is the most widely studied and understood mantle is hotter and capable of flowing the outer and inner core are much hotter with great pressure that you can be squeezed into a ball smaller than a marble if you are able to go in the center of earth now the fourth planet in the solar system is mars this is mars it is the fourth planet in the solar system it is also called the red planet it is a terrestrial planet it has two moons it is a dusty cold desert world with a very thin atmosphere there is strong evidence mars was billions of years ago wetter and warmer with a thicker atmosphere now the fifth planet in the solar system is jupiter this is jupiter it is the biggest planet in the solar system it is a gas giant it has 79 moons jupiter is more than twice and as massive than the other planets of our solar system combined the giant planet's great red spot is a centuries old storm bigger than earth it is also the biggest planet in the solar system saturn it is the sixth planet in the solar system it is also called the gas giant this is saturn it has 82 moons adorned with a dazzling complex system with icy rings saturn is unique in our solar system the outer giant planets have rings but none are as spectacular as saturn's <clears throat> uranus it is the seventh planet in the solar system this is Uranus. It rotates at the nearly 90 degrees angle from the plane of its orbit. It has 27 moons. This unique tilt makes Uranus appear to spin on its side. Uranus has a ring system and magnetosphere and numerous moons neptune this is neptune it is the eighth planet in the solar system the last planet in the solar system before there were nine planets including pluto but pluto is now a draft planet so this is also called the blue planet. It is most distant major planet orbiting our sun in dark and cold and wished by supersonic winds. It was the first planet located through mathematical calculations rather than by telescope. It was first been uh, located by mathematical calculations rather than telescope so next what we are going to study i told about solar system the eight planets now the draft planet so draft planet So the first draft planet is Pluto. Before it was a planet's 
before eight planets it was also called a planet in the solar system but it is now recognized as dwarf planet before there were in the solar in the solar system nine planets remember so this is pluto pluto is a complex world of ice ma ice mountains and frozen plains once considered the ninth planet pluto is the largest member of the kuiper belt and the best known of a new class of worlds called dwarf planet cirrus it is the part of pluto only this is cirrus cirrus make up almost a third of asteroid belts total mass but it is still far smaller than earth's moon cirrus is heavily created created with large amounts of ice underground eris i have only told in this video only three dwarf planet and eight planets and about solar system so this is the third one eris this is eris eris is one of the largest known as dwarf planet in the solar system it's about the same size as pluto but is three times further from the sun eris first appeared to be larger than pluto this triggered a debate in the scientific community and led to the international astronomical union's decision in 2006 to clarify the de definition of a planet pluto eris and other similar objects are now classified as dwarf planet can you tell me who discovered Eris. Uh, it is written down, but be before it, you know, Eris was discovered on October twenty one, two thousand three, by M. E. Brown, C. A. Trujillo, and D. Rabino Witts, and the Palomar. in at the palomar observatory thank you so much for watching if you like my video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon that if i put my new video the first is it is to you thanks once again everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to study class 10th lesson 5 coordination the linking system in this class you will learn about nervous system is the linking system between brain and us this is what we have studied in below classes now in class 10 you are going to study about what is the process and pathway this is the brain how in which the nervous system transports and the nerves in the brain so sharpening of pencil grasping a door knob running or walking a few physical activities all involve well coordination movements made with well balanced postures whenever move the three basic functions such as movement balance and coordination several systems in our body work together to perform movements example if we are going to take an apple 
from three, 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 three. We hardly use our skeletal system or muscular system alone, but several other systems also work together. Responding to stimuli. Stimulus is a thing or event that causes a specific functional reaction in the organ or tissue. All living organisms respond to stimuli. Example, the cat may be running because it saw the mouse. Plant grow towards the sunshine. There is a sequence of events that bring about response. They start from detecting changes of environment or stimuli, transmission of the information processing the same. Finally, the response will detect and execute the appropriate action. Activity one in is holding a falling stick. This is the activity one in activity one in class 10 reader. Take a long scale or stick at at least at least around a half meter. Keep your fingers in holding position as shown in figure. To hold the stick or scale near the end and let the other end can be suspended between your fingers. Let there be a very small gap around the around a centimeter between thumb and the stick or scale and four fingers. Could you hold it exactly at the point where it was suspended between your fingers? No, can't hold it. So, how far up was this point from the end suspended between your fingers? It is just above the point from the fingers. Why did this happen? Because the time taken for stimulus that is leaving the stake and the nervous system. How fast do you think the process was? It is within fraction of seconds. Response are brought about by rapid changes in some muscles and Changes are usually to changing stimuli. Integrating pathways, nervous coordination. The Greek believed that all functions of the body were controlled by the brain. Since damage to that organ produced remarkable change in behavior. Galen is a scientist, not scientist, is physiologist. Galen, a Greek physiologist, made one notable observation. One of his career complained loss of feeling in the arm while still remain, retaining normal muscular control of if its movement. Galen conclude that nerves were of two kinds, those of sensation, sensations and those of action. According to him, the blow in the neck had damaged the nerves sensation, sensation, but had not affected its action. The functioning of nerves at, as integrating system was little known till late, till late 18th century. Then physiologists began to study the mechanism nerves functioning.
and found how signals were transmitted by making the connection between recent works on electric electricity and the propositions on working of nerve nervous system may till then this is the second activity structure of nerve cell observe the permanent slide of nerve cell or neuron under microscope draw and label its parts compare with the following diagram each nerve cell consists of cell consists of a cell body with a prominent nucleus there are fine projections mainly of two types extending from the cell body to the nerve cell the small projections are dendrites while a long one that extends to different parts of our body is called axon the axon is surrounded by a specialized insulator sheet called methylin sheet nail in sheet this sheet is interrupted at regular intervals called nodes of ranvier the methylin sheet is made up of situn cells and chiefly consists of fatty material axon not having a sheet are non myelinated fibers the covering also forms a partition between adjacent axons the nerve cell body lies either in our brain or spinal cord or very close to the spinal cord in a region called dorsal and ventral root ganglion ganglion in the brain or spinal cord it is difficult to make out the difference between dendrites dendrites and axons on the basis of their length often the presence of the sheet help us helps us to find out but several axons here do not have the sheet find out but several axons here do not have the sheet then rights of one nerve connect to the other or to the axon of the other nerve cell through connections called synapses thank you so much for watching if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon that if i put my next video the first it is just to you please don't forget to subscribe my channel the subscription is free it does not consist any money and it does not take any money so you can uh, subscribe and press the bell icon thank you so much for watching once again Bye. See you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to our channel. आज हम अल्लाह ताला के बारे में कुछ जानेंगे. इसमें लाय रहमानी रहे. ये खास करके छोटे बच्चों के लिए सबक है. तो मैं चाहूँगी कि बच्चे तवज्जो से इसको सुनें. इसमें लाय रहमानी रहे. अल्लाह ताला प्यारे बच्चों 
क्या तुमको मालूम है कि ये जमीन जिस पर हम चलते फिरते हैं और वो नीला आसमान जो हमारे सरों पर है किसने बनाया है नीले आसमान पर जो चमकता चांद रोशन सूरज और जब मगाते तारे नजर आते हैं उसको किसने बनाया है इन तमाम चीजों को चीजें और सारी दुनिया का बनाने वाला सिर्फ और सिर्फ अल्लाह ताला है जमीन आसमान सूरज चांद सितारे झाड़ पहाड़ दरिया और दूसरी तमाम चीजें उसी ने बनाई है अल्लाह एक है पाक और बेब है इस जैसा कोई नहीं वो सबका मालिक है उसका कोई शरीक नहीं हम सब उसी के मोहताज हैं हम सब उसी के मोहताज हैं वो किसी का मोहताज नहीं वो जो चाहता है वो करता है उसके इरादे को कोई रोक नहीं सकता वो हमेशा से है और हमेशा रहेगा वही हर एक तारीफ के लायक है आदमी को दौलत देना गरीब बनाना बीमार करना तंदुरुस्त रखना जिंदा रखना और मार डालना सब कुछ उसके अख्तियार में है अल्लाह ताला हम पर हमारे माँ बाप पर माँ बाप से भी ज्यादा मेहरबान है हम अपने माँ बाप को बहुत प्यार करते हम अपने माँ बाप से इतना प्यार करते हम उनको छोड़ के रह नहीं सकते लेकिन अल्लाह ताला उनसे ज्यादा मेहरबान है तो हमें अल्लाह से मोहब्बत करना चाहिए अल्लाह के बताए हुए रास्ते पर चलना चाहिए और उसके हम पर इतने एहसानात है कि वो हमें नी अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह इतने एहसानात है जिसका कोई शुमार नहीं है वो हमें जबान मजा चखने और बोलने के लिए दी कान आवाज सुनने के लिए हाथ काम करने के लिए और पाओ चलने फिरने के लिए दिए इसके अलावा हम पर उसके और भी बहुत से एहसाना थे गौर तो करो एक बार अगर हवा ना होती तो हम सब जी स, जी सकते नहीं दम घुट कर मर जाते सूरज की रोशनी और चांद का नूर इस दुनिया को मुनवर ना करता तो सारी दुनिया में रोशनी होती नहीं होती सारी दुनिया अंधेरा ही अंधेरा होता आसमान से पानी ना बरसता तो पीने के लिए पानी मिलता नहीं मिलता ना हमें खाने के लिए अनाज होता अनाज भी तो जमीन में बोया जाता ना अगर उस अनाज को हम पानी ना देंगे तो क्या अनाज उगेगा नहीं तो अनाज भी पैदा करने का एक अल्लाह ताला का ही जरिया है अगर वो अनाज ना होता तो हम क्या खाते हम भूखे मर जाते तो प्यारे बच्चों अल्लाह ताला ने हमको अपनी बेहिसाब नेमतों से सरफराज फरमाया है हमको भी चाहिए कि इसके सब अहकाम बजा लाए इसी के सामने अपना सर झुकाएं उसी की इबादत करें और उससे उसी से मदद मांगे क्योंकि उसके सिवा सब मजबूर और बेबस हैं उसके सिवा हमारी मदद करने वाला कोई नहीं है तो प्यारे बच्चों हमें चाहिए कि अल्लाह के बताए हुए रास्ते पर चले अल्लाह की इबादत करें नमाज की पाबंदी करें तो इससे हम क्या सीखते हैं कि अल्लाह एक है उसका कोई शरीक नहीं हम अल्लाह ताला के बताए हुए रास्ते पर चलना चाहिए तो प्यारे बच्चों आज का सबक इतना ही है बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया वॉच करने का देखने का और अगर आपको वीडियो अच्छी लगी हो तो लाइक करना मत भूलिए 
सब्सक्राइब करिए और बेल आइकोन को प्रेस करिए शुक्रिया